Princess Margaret's shocking divorce from Anthony Armstrong Jones in 1978 cleared the way for future royal divorces such as Prince Charles and Diana's. Princess Margaret and Anthony Armstrong Jones' divorce after two years of separation caused controversy as it was generally considered the first divorce within the British royal family in over 400 years. A royal expert has said this shocking split cleared the way for the next generation of royals to consider divorce. An option that was taboo for the monarchy until then. Royal expert Jenny Bond told the documentary Princess Margaret, a rebel without a crown. She cleared the way for others to get out of unhappy marriages. Princess Margaret had been married to Anthony Armstrong Jones since 1960, after meeting at a dinner party in 1958. He was created Earl of Snowdon upon their marriage and enjoyed a career as a society photographer. The couple went on to have two children, David Armstrong Jones and Lady Sarah Chateau. Their marriage was plagued with infidelity, with the princess supposedly carrying out affairs with the likes of Warren Beatty and Mick Jagger. Her husband also engaged in numerous affairs and had a long-term relationship with Lady Jacqueline Rufus Isaacs. After images of Princess Margaret and her lover Roddy Cluellin, who was 17 years her junior, were printed by the tabloids, the couple acknowledged their marriage had irretrievably broken down. A statement from the couple read, Her Royal Highness the Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, and the Earl of Snowdon, after two years of separation, have agreed that their marriage should be formally ended. In the aftermath of the divorce announcement, Labour MPs branded Princess Margaret a royal parasite and a floozy. Although their separations and subsequent behaviour caused outrage, it was the first of several royal divorces for the British monarchy. Three of the Queen's four children went on to divorce their partners during the 1990s. The Prince of Wales and Princess Diana divorced in 1995 after years of strained relations between the pair. In a shocking Panorama interview, Princess Diana spoke of her own infidelities and her husband's long-term relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles. Prince Charles later went on to marry Camilla, now the Duchess of Cornwall, in 2005. Princess Anne has also remarried, after divorcing her first husband Mark Phillips in 1992. Another royal divorce is currently underway after Peter Phillips and his wife Autumn announced last February that they had amicably decided to part ways. Princess Anne's son and daughter-in-law had been married for 12 years, the eldest grandchild of the Queen met the Canadian managing consultant in 2003 and the pair were married in 2008. They are parents to two daughters, Savannah 10, and Isla 9. Their announcement last year said the decision had been taken as the best course of action for their two children and ongoing friendship. Their divorce settlement was finalized and approved by the High Court this week.